Hi guys, it's Dan here and in today's video I'm gonna show you Notepad++ alternative for macOS. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe for more videos and tips on macOS and iPhone. Okay, so let's get into it. Since you are watching this video, I'm assuming that you are already aware that Notepad++ is not available for Mac. This is a great editor and it took me a while to find a replacement for macOS. Even though an editor like this doesn't have to be very advanced, I was not able to find a good alternative for months. It was actually this simplicity that I was missing. That you can create a file but you don't have to save it and you can still select syntax for multiple languages. I tried many alternatives and code editors but nothing was really fitting to my needs. For example, in standard code editors you usually have to create a file first, put a name, select location or even manage some projects and in standard note taking apps you have to create code blocks for the syntax to be recognized, which is also not that convenient. But finally, I found an app that does exactly what I needed. It's called Code Editor. You can find it in App Store, it's available for free. As you can see, it has very high rating. And it's a simple lightweight editor that has all the features that you would expect. Some of the main features include syntax highlighting for over 50 languages, powerful find and replace with regular expression, auto backup, line numbers view, and many other features as you can see. So let me show you code editor in action. So here I have the app, as you can see, it's very simplistic. And at first it doesn't really remind Notepad++, but let's adjust it a little bit for our needs. So first of all, I would advise to enable the tab bar. You can do this in view, hide or show tab bar. And as you can see, we now have a tab bar with plus button on the right, with which we can create new files. I also don't really like this font, so let's adjust this as well. As you can see, there is a lot of options we can change in the settings. There are several tabs such as general, window, appearance, edit, format, file drop and others. For our purpose, we will just change the font. And I will select Courier New. I think this is the default font used in Notepad++. And of course, you can change here also the color theme. And as mentioned, a lot of other features. So here we have a simple file in CSS. And in our top bar, we have a option to select language for our syntax highlight. And I will select CSS since this is CSS file. Additionally, you can share the file with Apple Notes or different note taking apps. You have also line numbering and some basic information on the bottom like number of lines, characters, location, and file encoding type. As in Notepad++, you don't have to save the file, you can just create the next one, paste your text, and select the language for syntax. So as you can see, it's super easy to use. There is also option to split the editor with this button here, and possibility to set transparency for the background of the editor. So if you will go to view, and change editor's opacity you will have this pop-up here and you can adjust the opacity to make it a bit transparent as mentioned there's advanced find and replace function where you can use regular expression and also have advanced find options and of course as we would expect from editor like this all the files are synced to icloud so this is basically it, I just gave you some general overview, the app has much more functions and options. I encourage you to check the app and I'm pretty sure you're gonna stay with it. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the app is available in the App Store, it's called Code Editor and it's available for free. I hope you liked this video, if yes please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.